okay so this is the draft i have to stop because i've already done all this one in previous so please go back to watch our basic bodies draft pattern so that you can learn more so this is the neckline for an altar neck bishop neck, collar neck shirt neck that will have a collar stand the for the neck is three inches to the side and to the width then for the depth is 2.5 this is for an average adult except we are doing for a plus size which we are still going to be treating later in our subsequent videos now for the deck the neck the back pattern for the neck now the de the width is going to be three inches and then the depth is going to be one inches that is all i have done here please go back and watch our basic bodies because this i don't want this video to be lengthy okay now you have to slant your shoulder by one inch like i said we already know how to calculate our armhole then very important very key you have to come in at the center like this by half inch and then you connect your use your ruler or you use your free hand to connect down to this side i want to believe that we all understand this area but if you do not understand please put it in the comment section so that i can elaborate more you guys are my sweethearts okay so now we come to the bust line now the whatever you get for the bust line you also mark it on your armhole line we already know that we did that in our last video so that this video won't be won't be lengthy now for you to get the what to mark on for your bust line this person's bust is 41 inches we can see from here 41 inch okay so this shirt you are looking at if you look at it probably has a lot of ease and this customer said he doesn't want our own to be much like that so i just decided to give it two inches ease now 41 plus two inches 41 is the bust measurements bust circumference 41 plus 2 is 43 i am going to be dividing this 43 by 4 and i got 10.75 then two inches allowance to be on the safer side and i got 12.75 i've marked that here this is it here so the same 12.75 i marked i will also mark it on my armhole line now if you look at that shirt properly you will see that the curving did not come down to the waist look at it properly look at the black one it didn't come down to the waist the curving started somewhere around the bust area to tell you that the curving started from the under bust okay that is why i did not mark waist measurement in this pattern so i only marked waistline uh, on that bus because that's where we will be needing now vertical measurement for this person shoulder to under post is that under post for this person vertical measurement is 13.5 this is it here now the under ball circumference is 39 as we can see from here so we brought that is what i have already marked here which is 39 plus 2 giving us 41 then that 41 will now be dividing by 4 will now give us 10.25 okay i forgot to write it it gave us 10.25 then when you add your allowance of two inches that is what made it 12.25 and that is what i have marked here which is the longer marking okay we now come down to the waist to the hip line that's all we need we do not need waist okay now when you look at that hip picture or that picture you will see that the front bodies is shorter than the back bodies so but for this person the hip measurement vertical hip measurement is 26 but i decided to make it 24 because of the cardboard we are using so that the camera will be able to pick all so for this person it's going to be 24 for the front but knowing that when you are placing your pattern when we will be placing this pattern on the material to cut we will not be cutting the exact measurement of the person which is 26 but for this illustration to explain to us i want to make it 24. now if the front is 24 look at the back properly you will see that there's a difference between the front and the back and that difference is almost like four inches so if the front for this person is 24 that means the back is going to be 28 there's almost four inch four inches difference look at the picture very well okay so now we'll be marking this is where our illustration is starting properly so we are marking 13.75 which you go because this person's hip circumference is 45 look at it here 45 plus 2 inches is that we've been adding gave us 47 then we are dividing it by 4 to get 11.75 then plus 2 inches allowance which is 13.5 then we mark our 13.75 which is somewhere around here now we are going to connect nicely
Guys, this is all for that cloth. If you look at it, you see where the carving started. The carving didn't go to the waist. That's a lot of mistake that many people make. If you take that carving to that waist, that cloth must look funny. That shirt must look funny. But if you see the carving started from the underboard, so it's going to flow very well. Okay, it's going to flow, flow very well. So the next thing we are going to do now is cut out our front pattern. The back pattern first. Okay. Remember to put 2.5 inches allowance by this side because we won't be putting it again on our material. And remember, if you look at that picture well, it has button in front. So we have not, I didn't add the allowance for the button here we'll be adding marking out that one directly on our material so now we are using it to for the back right so we and the back does not have any cutting it's going to be plain because the allowance for zip or button is in front of it okay so it's the front that is going to carry that allowance now um back pattern but remember after cutting our pattern we come up by one and a half inch you go up by one and a half inch, then you curve it out nicely with your ruler. Okay. You curve it out nicely with your ruler. Okay. Don't forget to add your darts. The, all these ones are in that our... All these ones are in our last tutorial on how to cut a perfect body. We are going to just cut out the back pattern. But then remember that the back is longer than the front. So let's assume that let's assume that the back is long. That this carton uh, cardboard sheet is longer. So you just measure four inches. And the back was not curved the way the front is curved. So you take note of that. You don't curve the back. You just cut it four corner. But for now, because the cover sheet is not enough in length, we will see it all in our material when we'll be cutting out our material. Okay, so now we have cut out our back pattern. This is our back pattern. And that's all we are doing on it. So we label it back pattern. Okay, and we shift it. That's for our back pattern. So this is our front pattern. We'll now do the final, final touch on the front pattern, which is, which is the armhole. we we'll trim out this one for the armhole. Okay. Then we cut out the neck. Okay. We cut out the neck. So this is our front pattern. Our the neck. If you look at the neck, you will find out that it's a bishop neck. For you to cut a bishop neck, your material must be on bias folding. Okay, it must be on bias folding, and this is what I mean by bias folding. You can't fold this way. <coughs> okay, you can't fold this way. You must have to fold it across this is straight then you fold it this way across place your material across okay but when you are folding it i'm still going to just follow this tutorial this is a simple a abc method of cutting your bishop collar now first thing you will do first thing to do you measure the round neck okay you measure the round neck but when measuring this round neck remember that this thing is on food so whatever you measure here is supposed to be times two right this is what we do right want to make sure it it will still be clearer on the material when we start to cut on the material it will be clear. I just followed the instruction. This is four inches. So, of learning how to measure to cut bishop collar, you can use it for bishop collar itself. You can use it for normal turtle neck. You for you can alternate styles. Then you can use it for shirts, 
for the color to sit on okay so if you learn this bishop color now it is very very profitable for you now this is what we are going to do we measure that area where the color is going to sit on we measure it you measure that area where the color is going to be sitting on you measure it this way you measure it this way you measure it this way okay and we have almost four and quarter here 25 inch you come again this way you measure it again and you have three for the back so three plus four and a half that four and quarter that is seven and quarter now in, in cutting a color if you cut if you place your material like this and cut it most times i'm not saying it's wrong because people that are doing it they know how they do it and it's working out for them but the way i learned mine because i try practicalizing whatever i learn and trying to find a, a a more simpler way of doing my things and this is the most simplest way i have ever seen now what you do is <clears throat> ignore this these things that is called this is pattern we whatever that you are not understanding now when we place it on our main material it will become clearer now we measured seven and seven point twenty five there you place your material on bias form this is my material on bias form on bias form now when i place it on bias form i will measure from here to here from this pointed edge to here to be sure that is up to 7.25 and we see that is even more than so we are very happy now we come bring it down to where we measured which is 7.25 measure it and make sure it's pointing towards this area right 7.25 and then we mark 7.25 and we mark here 7.25 that means whatsoever we are doing it is this point this reference point we are going to use now we now place our tape this way we place our tape this way from this edge place it here from this edge place it here to where we marked for that 7.25 and what we got is what we got is nine inches now what you are now going to do is what you are now going to do is nine inches right what you are now going to do is keep marking that nine inch round as if you are cutting a flay keep marking that nine inch round as if you are cutting a flay keep marking that round inch round see you see then you connect the dots now if you look at that color properly it's up to two inches that color we are seeing standing is up to two inches you can decide to make your own one and a half inches you can decide to make your own one inch but i choose to make it two inches since there's no color that will sit on it it's just the bishop color now see the way you measure the two inches you place your tape like so you measure two inch you measure again two inch you measure again you measure again two inches two inches <coughs> okay then you connect now when you are done use your tape to be sure that it is up to seven inches here Use your tape to be sure that it's up to 7.25. And we got exactly 7.25. That means our, our color is okay. Then we cut out. See, our color is comfortable. Please don't bother about this area. I'm just showing you with what I have now. Okay? Then we cut out. This is exactly your color. By the time you are done, this color will sit properly on your neck and sit round please don't bother about this area that is off just assume that the color is complete in nigeria we will say nothing will make this color may no lap it will must lap okay it will must lap and this is for the color then we have color which is the sleeve okay which is the sleeve i already talked about the cap height for our 
sleeve when we want to cut our sleeve you have to be sure of your caps height okay you have to be sure of your cap height okay so now our cap height is four inches for this person please if you have not watched my video on calculations and how to do calculations please do well to go back and watch it it will be proper to be beneficial because when we are doing these things we can't do everything together if not the video will be very uh the videos will be uh, too much the length of the videos will be too much and it's your data so i'm trying to minimize the use or the waste of data for you so whatever i want to do uh, that's why i will refer you back to go and watch another video by the time you finish watching that video now you come back if you come back you'll be able to understand what we are doing okay so now this is cap where when uh, making your sleeve cap height is very very important because that is what will make your uh, sleeve to be very free but thank god that this sleeve is a very is a very um free sleeve as you can see from the picture is very free it's not fitted that's why i like i love ready made wears the made wears no get problem okay now we they go look so this person is uh i'm whole depth is nine inches but we are going to be taking 10 inches because of uh neck like so connect like so we mark out the center of the line we just made we mark out the center of the line we just made and it's five and a half here so if you don't have this ruler please invest in this ruler it's very very key okay it's very very important because it makes life and it makes sewing very very easy for you now from where that sleeve is for this my client is 18 inches length 18 inches okay so we are going to measure from here from the tip of the and i want to make it 20 because this two extra two inches is for me to use and bend the sleeve okay as allowance okay for the sleeve now for the round sleeve for this my client for the round sleeve it's 13 okay so 13 into 2 is six and a half because our material here is on fold so it's six and a half and i'm making it eight inches because of allowance i'm adding one and a half inch for the allowance I'm adding one and a half inch for the allowance so from here right now we are going to okay we are going to connect our sleeve straight down now in whatever i'm doing i'm just trying to manage my cardboard sheet i've done a lot of tutorials today if you are new to this channel you are welcome subscribe so that you can be seeing all our tutorials you can be so that you can be seeing all our tutorials and this is all guys for that beautiful shirt that you are seeing this is all this is all you need this is my front pattern that i'll be using to cut it out this is my back pattern that i'll be using to cut it out this is my sleeve the two sleeve now this is my collar let's go right into cutting it into our material 